All right, gang, Jeremy Hazel here for Seven Season Studios, and this is a lesson from our brand new course, Affinity Designer, How to Do Artistic Text and Font in Affinity Designer. So if you like this lesson and you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, go ahead and check out the link below for an exclusive offer for our YouTube folks. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into here and start rolling those credits. All right, let's create something. All right, gang, and welcome back to our discussion on font here. So this lesson is all about how to create text styles. Now, if you've taken our course, The Complete Guide to Affinity Designer, you're familiar with the styles panel over here in the studio, right? So you got a styles panel over here. But what you may not know is that in your studio, let's go to view, let's go down to studio, there is a long forgotten panel called text styles. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now, if you're familiar with styles or anything, it really follows the same flow. Styles apply to your font. So let's say that, let's go ahead and create a font. Let's go ahead and say that we're going to put down bunny font. Okay, now this is an Arial. This is 314 by 3 pixels. All right. Now, you can go through and you could adjust all of these in the character panel. You've seen that 101 times already. But now you see here that there are styles. So you can apply styles to your paragraphs and your characters. And if you wanted to create one, this is what we're gonna show you here. You go over to text style and they've got all the styles for this particular font that you have. And what I wanna call your attention to here is that down at the bottom, you can create a paragraph style, you can create a character style or you can create a group style. We're going to focus on the character style, and then when you get to paragraph, I'm just gonna show you how the paragraph options are very, very similar. Now, individually for each style, let's look at the right-hand side here. You'll see that you can apply different rules, or you can edit styles, you can duplicate styles, or you could create another total style based on the body style. I know that's a lot of styles. Or you can delete a style. I wouldn't recommend this. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new character style. So I'm gonna come up here to the A, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Now, the character style, it pulls up. You can customize it any way you want. Let's go ahead and do one called bold and angry. Okay, so whatever I apply this to, I want it to come across as bold and angry and aggressive. And that's pretty interesting considering that funny was the word we chose. So you could base it on a style if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna base it on a style. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose the font. When I click on bold and angry, I want it to go to impact. And then you can go through and choose or filter some of these depending on what you want. And then when we do this part, there are different font traits for impact. So I want the regular one. And then we can go to color and decoration. Let's say I want to change the text fill here. And when I go bold and angry, I want it to be bright red. We're all set there. Now we can go here and we can go to position and transform. You can adjust the kerning, the tracking, the superscript and the subscript, and you guys know what that is by now, the baseline, and your leading override. You guys got all those terms down early on, right? Just for illustration purposes, I'm gonna turn up the shear to a ridiculous level because I want you guys to be able to see it. And then you could adjust the horizontal or the vertical. Let's go ahead and make these letters tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the vertical to 200%. Now you'll notice that down here, here's all the settings that it's saving for me. So I got 141% vertical. It shows up as 141% there. And then within the style, you can address some of the typography alternatives. So some of the stylistic elements, you can put in standard ligatures, discretionary ligatures. You could do a lot of differences. Here, you can put in different stylistic sets and character variants. You can put in different figures, and then you can address what happens with the capital letters. Now, once you're all set with this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit okay. There we 
go. And now, once you've done this, take a look at this. When I go into Styles, so we select this here. Notice here, I can select my bold and angry, and watch what happens. 141% with a whole lot of sheer, and it changed the font into impact. So that's how you create a style. Now, if you wanted to delete it, obviously you could edit it, you could duplicate it, you could create another style, or you could detach characters. Now, you could always delete it just like this. And then, let's say that you wanted to come through here. You could import styles that other people have created. You can save it as default. You can detach and delete all styles. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with styles. So if you like that, you can definitely save it. And then, just like any other character panel, let's go ahead and close it. Now what happens if I bring in another piece of text? I can go funny daylight, just for giggles, right? Now, if I don't want that to be bold and angry, I can come up here to styles that are created with it. And now, is that a paragraph style or a character style? I can then select different character styles. There we go. And I can select different styles associated here. Or if I wanted to go into here, now that I know that that panel exists, I can come over to here. I can go to my studio and I can grab my text styles and I can apply bold and angry to it. All right, that's the very simple area for text styles. And you see, once we get this kind of running the way that it should, we can create some really cool poster-esque themes using styles. All right, folks, hope you learned a little bit about styles panel. Let's go ahead and get into the next lesson. We'll show you more about text in Affinity Designer.